creating and managing departments, to assign cases of the same type to the same group of users constantly, you can create a department and define the access policy that each user or group within the department has for a case. The users and access policies that are set up for a department are assigned to new cases only. If you add a new user or user group to a department which is already assigned to existing cases, the current cases will not be updated with the new user or user group. For the existing cases, you will need to manually assign the user or group to these cases and set up their permission levels. For example, let's say we have a loss prevention department configured and assigned to case A and case B. If we assign a new user to the loss prevention department, we will not see this user in the list of users for case A and case B. If we create a new case, case C, and assign the loss prevention department to it, we'll see the new user included as part of the users and groups in that department. To create or edit a department, click on the Configuration section on the left, represented by a gear icon, and then select the Department section from the list on top. From the existing list of departments, click on one to edit it, or click on the plus icon on the top of the list to create a new one. The new department will have the name New Department by default. From the Edit page, you can click on the pencil icon next to the department name to rename it. Below that is the list of users or user groups and the access policies that they are given when the department is assigned to a new case. Click on the plus icon to add one or more entities to this list. It will ask you if you want to add an existing user or create a new group and assign it to the department. Choosing to add an existing user will bring up a list of all the users on the system. You can search for one in particular, based on the name, email address, or ID, or you can place a check mark next to multiple users or user groups. Click on the Add button on the bottom when you're finished, or hit Cancel if you do not wish to make any changes to this department's user list. If you choose to create a new user group, it will ask you for the name of this group. For example, in our loss prevention department, we could create a new user group that only deals with the initial reporting phase of the case, so we would create an Initial Reports group. Click Save to create this new group, which will be applied to the whole system and not just to this department, or hit Cancel to go back to the department user list without creating a new user group. From the list of users and user groups associated with the department, you can change the permission level for each one. There are four possible permission levels, View Only, View and Download, Edit, and Manage. Users with the Manage level have full access and can open, view, edit, and share cases. A user with the Edit level can open, view, and edit cases, but they're unable to share cases with others. The View Only permission level only gives a user access to open and view the case information. They cannot make any changes or share the case with others. View and download users have the same restrictions, but it still allows them to save files. Once you've configured everything you need for the department, click on the Save button or hit Cancel to erase the changes.